Thank you very much for inviting me to this beautiful event. And I see a lot of young people here that are ambitious to do something. So now I will tell you something about also something about your future. But it's not in IT, it's a little bit in environment. How can we protect it? How can we use our resources more intelligently? Okay, we can start. Why should we all switch to circular economy? Uh, this is three of us, uh, me and my colleagues, Petra and Katarina, and uh, we are long-term environmental consultants in Slovakia. We have been doing this for 14 years, although we don't all look that old as, as we are, <laughs> but uh, we were living, doing a lot of projects. And uh, two years ago, uh, we went on one seminar about circular economy here in Slovakia, and it was held by Diana Den Held, a very famous consultant from, from Holland, and she really inspired that, this, that uh, we have to bring a uh, circle economy to Slovakia. And why should we do that? Everything that is around us is made out of materials, whether it is your cell phone, it is your computer, it is the furniture you have, this clicker, it's made of plastic. So everything that surrounds us is made of certain material. And all these materials are coming from nature. And how do we get these materials for our things that we need? We get them like this. We use oil, we use water, we use some not renewable resources that we are taking out of nature and not giving it back because we can't. And these three examples are from, from around the world, but this, this picture is from Slovakia. So we are also impacting our environment here in Slovakia. And this is a, a landfill of toxic waste near to Rijavna Dronom. So if you are buying a lot of non-reusable cans, or you use it only one time and then put it in your black bin, you're also causing this because you have to buy new cans. We have to dig more of this material to use it and produce more of non-reusable items. After we use it, in Slovakia, we all put our trash mostly into black bin. 67% of our waste is put onto landfill. We are one of the last <laughs> countries in uh, Europe, European Union who, in case of recycling. We recycle only 8 to 12% of our waste. But as you can see, in our waste, there are all, it's, it's, all, it's, uh, there are all these materials that we have taken from nature, we put it in a black bin, and we put it on the landfill, which is really irresponsible because we cannot take it back. We cannot take materials from the landfill and reuse it to make something new. Our waste is made of mostly compostable biodegradable waste. It's at least 45% of our waste is biodegradable waste. So if anyone of us compost, as I do, for example, we can get rid of 45 to 70 percent of our waste. Then you can see that there is paper, plastic, <laughs> glass. These are all materials that we can sort, reuse. Because if we don't, if you put plastic up to landfill, it will biodegradate for 500 years. If you put glass on the landfill, it will biodegradate in 4,000 years. So it's much more responsible to sort and then to recycle. And we can recycle all these materials. And if you watch this black line, it's only 4% of our waste that will have to be put onto landfill, not 67%, only 4 So we can manage to be more responsible to our natural resources if we 
use them very smartly. How can we do that? The way we are behaving now is so-called linear economy. We extract the resources, make some products out of it, then use it, and then throw it away. As we all know, it's not going to away, it's going to landfill, and it will be there for many, many years. So, maybe it's more responsible then to use these materials, not as waste, but as sources of materials for new things. It's so-called circle economy. Circle economy sees the waste as materials, as opportunity to make new things. So we will have not have to uh, extract more natural resources because everything that is around here is made of materials and we can use them to make new things. And the biggest focus in the circle economy is on design. It's very important to design products that are reusable, <coughs> that are repairable, and if we cannot repair it, we can use their parts to repair some other things. And we, if we cannot do at least one thing out of, of these three, then we, it should be made of material that is recyclable. So we'll, we can, if we cannot uh, repair it, reuse it, then at least we could recycle it and close the loop of the certain material. As you can see that there is a, just a small hour arrow of residual waste is those 4% that we cannot reuse. So very important thing is eco-design. <coughs> to design things that are reusable, that are not single-use items. For example, piles in, the, in your bathroom. When you are renewing your apartment, you just crush them, just tear them apart, and then it's going to landfill. What if you would have piles that you can put down, maybe bring them to your new apartment or sell it to someone who likes it or maybe who doesn't, who can afford to buy new ones and place them in their home. Then you probably all know Eco Capsule. It's a very nice example of, uh, it's a Slovak, uh, it's a product designed by two Slovak guys and it's the, like a mobile house that is using all renewable energy. So if you go anywhere with, with this small house, you will be totally energy independent. Then there is an example of uh, <coughs> things that are made from natural materials that are biodegradable in certain environment. For example, plastic bottles that are made of algae. And algae are naturally grown in, <coughs> in the sea. So if this kind of a bottle gets into the sea, it biodegrades, biodegrades into algae. It doesn't biodegrade to small plastic pieces that is toxic to all the animals. And then there is a, my favorite picture because it's a picture of my composter. And uh, don't laugh, it's a really nice eco design. <laughs> and it's made of uh, a recycled uh, beer cases. Uh, so if the beer case breaks down, it goes to this recycling uh, company in Austria, so it's not going to China. And they make uh, this kind of uh, composters. And as you can see, it's made of uh, small parts. So if one of the parts breaks down, I can just uh, take that broken part and send it to the company that is uh, selling it. It's a Slovak company. And they will be bring me just a new part. So I don't have to make like a huge amount of plastics and get a new composter, I can just switch this broken part and then continue using it. And it, uh, it uh, also recycles all my food waste, so it's 60% of our, our waste is uh, eaten by this box. Sharing economy. We don't have to own everything. We can, bo we can borrow or we can share it with other people. How many times do you use bicycle for a ride to your school or to your work? And you have a problem like to lock it, maybe someone else will steal it or something bad will happen to it. You can share it by sharing 
bikes? Or how many times do you use a, a drill or a ice cream maker? Does anyone have ice cream maker at home? It's, it's the thing that you buy for Christmas because you're going to make ice cream every time, like you're having a party and you get bored of it and then it's really annoying that it's all, it always stands somewhere in the kitchen and nobody's using it. You can borrow it in, on Panenska Street in Gethe Institute. There is a, like a, a it's called bibliotheque or bookstore, but it's actually a, you can, uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, take some items and pay like 80 euros for it and then re return it after you use it. So you don't have to buy it. And how can I, I heard that uh, there are some uh, ID solutions also uh, presented here and it's also uh, present in waste management and in circular economy. And it can really help us to transfer to circular economy because there are some countries that people have pay as you throw system. So if you produce a lot of waste, you pay a lot of money. If you don't, you don't pay a lot of money. And we can use really intelligent solutions, like a small reader and a very simple application, to follow how much waste do we produce and how much material do we produce. So if we are acting irresponsibly, we will pay a lot of money. It's not the case in Slovakia yet, but we are working on it to, to, to also work in Slovakia. So we have a lot of things that we can do today to make the better future and to use our uh, sources very smartly and to use waste as our source. Thank you very much.